Hey, Critication, <laughs> welcome to day 72. Today, I am joined with Miss Tanya Flynn. Say hey. Hey. And I know what it feels like to be Andrew. Really? That's... Because oh, I'm seeing the top <laughs> of your head. Oh, you're going to Just bring... like Andrew sees the top of my head. You got to look. Okay. You and Andrew got to do a video together. Oh, I don't know if we could film it. We'd probably need two cameras. Two cameras, yeah. Two um, camera angles. I, I'm pretty sure you feel good about that joke. I do, I do. It was it's, a pretty easy it's, joke, it's so good. I wouldn't be so proud. Tell me about your shirt. Uh, Camp Kid Jam. I'm just in mourning right now because it was canceled, y'all. Like. It was. The good news is they did push our registrations to next year, so okay. it's not going to cost us anything. We were able to reimburse hey, money, that's and awesome. uh, we'll be able to do camp next year, 2021. Yep. But i got to wait a whole other year. Yeah. What does that mean for you? Because this is always the best week ever, so a whole year without Kid Jam, like, what's going to be your best week of the year? Is it now like Christmas? Is it... The Summer best week of the vacation. year will honestly be when I get to be back with my four, five, six kids. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to that too. We finally get to too. rejoin. That's, That's going to be awesome. the best week ever for sure. Now, Tanya, we've been talking all month long about determination. Mm -hmm. We said determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started, and I wanted to bring you on because I know, like, mm. as a personal trainer mm -hmm. at the City Station Fitness, okay. um, you it would take a lot of determination. And so, why don't you tell us a little bit about what determination looks like as a like workout person, uh, somebody that cares about physical fitness, helping right. other people out? Okay, so first, when we start off with our determination, we need to know what our why is. Mm -hmm. What is your why? Why would you even start this? Why would healthy. you do this? To be healthy, yeah. Um, to make every day easy, um, oh. getting the groceries out of the car, um, getting up a flight of stairs without passing out at the top. That's now, 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 um, we got a bunch of kids. Um, okay. I doubt most of them are passing out from stairs and struggling with groceries. Oh, what no. might be their why? Have you met Carson Pullen? Working out. Oh, yeah. Okay, so like. Um, Just to be ripped. <laughs> <laughs> that was for you, Carson. There you go, babe. Um, so it's just, it makes everyday life easier, and especially if you're training for sports, if you're trying out for any new sport, uh, you want that to be sport specific. Specific? Mm -hmm. uh, that was a big word for me. You did good. So, okay, thank you. Um, three syllables. Three syllables, okay. Andrew, beat that. Ooh. Uh, there's another challenge that I don't know about. We got the height challenge, and now we got that challenge. Okay, so. <laughs> Whenever you are talking about being determined, you have to know what your why is and what you're working for. Mm -hmm. And then you just have that as a vision and you know that that's where you want to get to. So if you are playing soccer and uh, you want to get across that field in a certain amount of time, if you want to pass that person before example. they even know that you're there, then you're going to be determined to get this workout done to make that happen on the field. And you have to be able also to use that determination to carry you when it doesn't feel great. Because okay. uh, now let's factor in this whole Jesus Bible thing. Is okay. there like any scripture? Is there any biblical principles that might tie into determination, being physically fit, caring about your body? Well, it is a temple, so you know. Explain that. Our body is a temple. God created it. Why would we not take care of it? Okay. You know. So we steward our, our bodies. Yeah, we're stewards of that, our bodies. That requires some determination. I like it. I like it. Mm. Now, as a physical fitness person, you're working specifically with people. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever like given them any coaching? Like, you gotta be determined. You gotta decide it's worth it. Finish yeah, what you started. Yeah, and we use <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we have to use a little bit of a different wording other than determination. Two we'll say syllables. things like, oh, "There you go, Andrew, buddy. I'm after you." Um, so when it comes down to say if they have 20 seconds and they are just done, they're spent, and then we say words like, "It's only 20 seconds." Think about it like the half cup, the cup half full. There yeah. you go. Instead so of, they see the end. So yeah, they, they see they the push, end. Push, and then they can get that determination. Okay, I only have 20 seconds, so I'm going to push through. I'm determined to finish this. Okay, okay. And I try to set them up in the beginning saying, okay, so here we go. We got one minute. Go ahead and think about what you want to achieve. Go ahead and set it in your mind. Set that goal now. And then whenever that timer is going through, I'm like, okay, remember that goal. Let's be determined. Let's reach it. Let's go for it. Let's push on. Decide it's worth it. Yeah, it's Finish worth it. Finish what we started. Mm -hmm. Now, Tanya, before we go into our next video, um, I would okay. love for you to maybe tell the kids, the preteens, any message you want before we get to the next thing. About anything. About anything. Anything. You can tell them your favorite banana bread recipe with chocolate chips. 
has uh, some. My favorite room. banana bread recipe is one. No, no, no. Where's... Like it's something important. Come on. Well, if someone makes it and brings it to me, that's my favorite. Oh, I like it. <laughs> so I'm just saying. Um, my message to you is that I really miss y'all. Oh, like yeah. I really miss being with y'all. And uh, we're talking about determination, mm-hmm. and I am determined to get back with y'all. So I'm excited for the day that we'll be able to meet together, be here together. And it's just, it's been hard on me to be away from yep. 4, 5, 6. That's something I look forward to every week. So, that's it. Looking forward to it too. For now though, we need to check out another video. So, let's do it. Let's see. When Lisa and I decided to get mom and dad something for their anniversary, we thought we had a long time to work on it. We remember how mom was so sad about all her wedding dishes being broken in the move. And we wanted something to make them both happy. Lisa, she had a great idea. She had been reading about how people in the UK used their broken dishes to make decorations. We saved the broken pieces from mom and dad's china and we started the secret project. It was going to take forever. The pieces were everywhere. When Lisa went back to school, it was just me slowly working on it when I could. Sometimes I wanted to quit. Sometimes I wasn't sure if it was going to be worth it, but it was. What is up, 456? I've got some good news, some bad news, depending on how you feel about the um, corona stash. You see, it's time to go. It's time to, to let go, but we're talking about determination, and I think that this was a great lesson in determination. You see, you know how, like, Mr. Andrew or Corey can grow their nice beards or their mustaches or maybe your dad? Here's the thing. I, I can't really do that. Um, this is about two months. That's not a lot. You can see it, right? But I was determined to grow it out, and I did. I have met my goal. I'm growing a mustache. It's beautiful, it's magnificent, but it's gonna go. So I thought you've been with this journey the whole time. You've seen my progression from wispy little thing to mustache. And so I thought I would just shave it with you guys. So I have my handy dandy razor and let's get started. Guys enjoy. I'll see you guys later. All right, gentlemen, it is time for a game, and I think this would be one that you guys can do together. We'll see who's better at this. The game is called Kid Drawings, and all you got to do is watch a clip. It's going to show you a picture. You can try to guess without any options, uh, or you can wait until the options come and then give it a guess. We'll see who's better. Coronation, play at home. Uh, see if you can beat Trucker. That's us. Let's do this. Kid drawings. So we're just guessing. All right, you'll be shown child's masterpiece. Okay, we'll be the determining factors of that. Your job is to figure out what in the world it is supposed to be. I got this. Like, okay. guessing is one of my spiritual gifts. <laughs> That's a boomerang. I was, I, ooh, a ladybug or a cat. I'm gonna go. Okay, so I wasn't right. I'm gonna go ladybug. I think it's a ladybug. No, it's definitely a cat. Look at the look at the U in the Oh head. my gosh! You, what? Look at the U. That just says cat written that all has over nothing it. That to looks do. like my cat. Transformers and, and Princess. Okay. Killer Saving Baby Moses and Killer Bee Attack. Uh I feel I'm, like it's gotta be Baby Moses. Yeah, look I was gonna say like, Baby yeah. Moses. Yeah. Now you've gotta be the, there. the baby Moses actually gave it. But you can also see Megatron. What? <laughs> That's a camel. Giraffe. No, giraffe. Cam- definitely giraffe. A camel. Bagpipes oh, or a giraffe. Bag- oh, that's bagpipes. bagpipes. That's gotta bagpipes. be bagpipes. Yep. So. Oh, air high five. Mm. Ah. 
So we're killing this. I okay. Stole, I stole you. Uh, <laughs> it's like was that the noise that you? <laughs> flying larva mod. An larva? alien. An alien, alien turd. turd. I'm gonna go alien turd all the uh, way. Oh, no. it. <laughs> I just want to know who drew these. <laughs> that looks like. Do you ever see those like dolls that were squished? Elmo jumping hurdles or Mickey Mouse picking flowers. I hope it's Elmo jumping yeah, hurdles. Yeah, Just because. Okay, never mind. I take that back. We were clearly wrong. Where is Mickey in that? Yeah, the ocean. That's the ocean. Ocean and the island. Yeah. Ocean and the island. Ocean. A maze. a maze or gravity. If that's gravity, I'm. I think Einstein. I think it's, would I think be it's gravity because there's no way out of that maze. Yeah. What? what? There's no okay. way out. Okay. You have to have a way out in a maze. Okay. I'm gonna go do that maze later. Whoa. That is a cow. A cow on a star. A oh! A cow jumping over the moon. I'm gonna go cow jumping over the moon. Yes, yep. but I'm slightly offended they didn't give the a what pregnant a pregnant pony. pony. What is that? What is the bottom part of that? I thought it was the moon. I did too. Uh, That's a squished bug. Definitely a, a squished bug. Monkey or frog? Neither were I. I I'm gonna go. That's the tongue. So I'm gonna say frog. I'm saying, wow. I want to know what those are. Those are. It's, I don't know. I'm not those even... are. <laughs> this is a depiction of. End times. <laughs> jumping on a trampoline. Ghost chasing, chasing Scooby Doo. I've got a. Because Scooby Doo's popular right now. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because that news. Oh, there you go. Yeah, see, Scoob just came out. I don't know. I haven't watched it. What the? That crap? is definitely The Last Supper. You know that picture? Like that Communion. One? Yes. Hamster in a wheel. A doll's. Oh, okay. <laughs> hamster in a wheel. I'm going to go doll's face. A doll's face. I feel face. like it's a hamster. It's got to be a hamster. No. Dang it. So. I think we're 100% between both of us. Uh, 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 Squiggles. Squiggles. No, it's modern art. Like, we just <laughs> interpret it. Butterfly, Butterfly flapping its wings. Peacock spreading its feathers. I'm going peacock. I feel firmly about this one. I'm a peacock. It, you gotta let me fly. Exactly. <laughs> Peacocks don't fly. Hey. hey, we did pretty good. Yeah, let us know good. if you beat us because I think we're pretty smart and we know art. Look at us. Yeah. Hey, guys, thank y'all for playing with us. We hope you enjoyed Coronacation. We will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.